Hello, so I picked up some more uh, Blu-rays, I've got three this time to show you. Uh, we have uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the original from the 1950s. Um, yeah, sort of a classic sci-fi film. Um, I actually prefer the, the remake with Donald Sutherland from 1978. Yeah, the 70s version, I prefer that one over this. Like I like that one more, but this is still really good, it is a classic. Definitely if you're a fan of sci-fi or sci-fi horror, check this out and the... 1978 remake. Um, I there's two more remakes. There's one from the 90s called Body Snatchers, uh, which I haven't seen. I've heard it's all right though. And there was a remake with Daniel Craig and Nicole Kidman. I think about ten years ago, fifteen years ago, something like that. Um, called The Invasion, and that's meant to be like really pants. So I'd probably skip that one. But uh, yeah, this and the Donald Sutherland version are worth watching. Uh, it's directed by Don Siegel, who. Uh, who uh, directed also directed the first Dirty Harry film, and also a film that I really love called uh, Charlie Varick, uh, with Walter Matthau. If you haven't seen that, check out Charlie Varick. It's a really really great underrated little thriller. Mine didn't come with the book. The first pressings of this came with the booklet. Mine is obviously a later pressing, so it doesn't have the booklet. That's fine. I don't actually read the booklets in these boutique releases, they're nice to have, and I would prefer to get them if I could, but I don't actually read them, if I'm being perfectly honest. Next we have something I picked up in today in HMV. Uh, I was at work, uh, I was like, it was about, there was about an hour and a half before I had to go to work. So uh, I just went in HMV and bought a couple of things, and uh, one of them is uh, The Beyond, Lucio Fulci film. Not a big fan of Lucio Fulci, or zombie films, to, in, to be honest, uh, but uh, I do really like this one. It's got a double-sided cover, so you have this version, and then on the other side you have the original Italian poster art. But yeah, this is uh, a remastered, at least a 2K restoration. Apparently it's the best-looking version of the film. This one, but it's by a Shameless Screen Entertainment. Uh, unfortunately, even though the picture quality is really nice, and it does have a few some, you know, decent extras, like a couple of commentaries, some interviews... Uh, and it also has the option to like, there's four different prologues, well it's the same prologue but it's presented in different forms, like there's a black and white one, a sepia tone one, um, there's one with the original colour footage, so it's, you know, that's kind of cool, but uh, apparently there's a problem with the audio, so it's, the audio, it's the Ital original Italian and the English dub and they're both presented in sort of stereo, and apparently if you watch them on, like, you know, your TV speakers or just a, a bog-standard two-channel soundbar, sounds fine, nothing wrong. But if you have a surround set up like 5.1 or Dolby Atmos or that sort of thing, um, there's a problem where, like, instead of just playing in the, the um, two speakers at the front, the, the sound bleeds into the surround channels, like the rear channels, so it makes the sound really echoey. People have pointed this out to Shameless, they're not, but they're not, they haven't done like a recall to try to fix it or anything. It's not a problem for me because uh, I watch, I can only, I've only got my TV speakers, well, I don't uh, at the moment anyway, like, uh, so I use my TV speakers to watch stuff at the moment, so uh, it's not a problem for me, but it is it is quite annoying and, you know, kind of silly that, you know, they would, <laughs> you know, you think they would fix it, but I guess not. Um, yeah, it's a shame because apparently it is quite a nice release otherwise while i was you know at the till buying that i noticed this next uh disc was uh two for because they have promotional at the front of hmv at the till they have like promotional things like you know da 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 with any purchase and this was 4.99 with any purchase and it's a pair of films i've never seen probably going to lose a bit of street cred you know <laughs> as, a, as a cinephile by admitting i haven't seen the first one of these but we have the raid and the raid 2 i was like I think 16 when that yeah 16 when this came out the first one came out so I couldn't go and see it at the cinema and I just never got caught up got and I was meant to get get around to watching it because I'd heard it was really good but I just never did but yeah I've never seen these and you know for, I thought well for a five I probably should check them out because I've heard the first ones like one of the all time great action films and uh, I don't know about the second one is the second one any good uh if any of you have seen the second one, let me know in the comments. Is it is it as good as the first one? Is it better? Is it worse? Yeah, let me know. Yeah, also, the first one includes the original theatrical and uncut versions. I don't know why they would bother cutting it, because if I recall correctly, 
the, it was an 18 at the cinema anyway, uh, which is why I couldn't see it because I was only 16. So um, if the, if they were going to get an 18 anyway, I don't know why they bothered cutting it. Uh, yeah, it's got two discs. The Raid and The Raid 2. I think, wasn't it, the first one was called The Raid Redemption in the States because of, like, it was some sort of, like, they couldn't, there was something else just called The Raid, so they couldn't copyright the name, so they called it The Raid Redemption, which makes it sound like a sequel instead of the first one. Um, yeah, looking forward to finally watching these. So that's the end of the video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you've seen any of the films I've mentioned or, you know, uh, if you what you think of them and uh, I'll see you next time.